Well, hey friends, uh, Eden Valley. Um, so I, I really need to do a quick catch up. Uh, it is actually a Saturday and I am heading out to do um, Bible study. We just had a beautiful uh, Sabbath meal uh, over at the village over there. That's the village. And we had a really exciting, exciting uh, Sabbath uh Oh, it was on fire, uh, the sermon. But you're probably thinking, oh, how did this happen? She's in Colorado now? <laughs> and didn't I just see her driving to Colorado? And then you probably saw some videos uh, with uh, my mom and, and me back in my uh, the kitchen of my, my, my parents' house where uh, I was sharing meals. Uh, and this is why I really needed to grab the camera and and say, um, I guess I need a... I need to do a catch up because what you're looking at is where I'm living right now. I am in uh so you're probably asking how how did she get to, how did she I didn't I just see her uh with uh with her sister and didn't I just see her in Idaho and then and then there was a couple of videos with me uh, cooking some meals at my uh my uh, my mother's home in Wisconsin and yeah, I've been around. <laughs> I've been around. But uh, now I am settled here in Colorado and standing in front of the dorm because that's where I am living. I am living in, a, in, in the dorm and I have been actually, uh, after the second week, they offered me a full-time position as a medical missionary. <laughs> full-time position as a medical missionary. As soon as I got here, uh, and they just, they, 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 I, they just put me to work. They put me to work immediately, and it was, wow, it was, it was uh, very overwhelming uh, to see now uh, that, the Lord, I mean, the Lord immediately started using me and, and all that I had been through, oh, all the, everything that, I, I mean, so much of what I had been through had all immediately started being used by the Lord, uh, with our first session as, as, uh, we have lifestyle guests that come and immediately he started using me and my experiences. And I thought, you know what, this is where I belong. I could, this is, this is where I need, need to serve now. I, I see why the Lord brought me out here. It was confirmed from the very, the very, the very first lifestyle guest that came off that, that um, van uh, last month. It was confirmed that I, I needed to be here. So uh, I thought, you know what, um, I'm falling behind on uh, creating videos. I've got a lot of content from Idaho. I've got even content from Wisconsin that I never shared with you guys. I've got content from from Idaho that will just blow your socks off the way that the Lord just manifested himself in my life and revealed himself even more and, and the spiritual nature of what I witnessed in Idaho and the healing, the healing. Um, I just, uh, it just blew me away what happened in Idaho. And, uh, and then, um, we had to leave and you, you saw a little bit of those clips, but you didn't see all the in-between things. And I just haven't had time to put it together. And then obviously coming here, um, I just, I've been taking video, but the only thing I've been able to share is some devotions and that's it. And that's, that's always the most important thing is, is at least me, um, ministering God's word in a way that will empower and encourage because it's really important for this time to stay on top of that. We, you know, I know people love to see what's going on with me, but what's more important is that, that you're being fed, that we feed each other, that we encourage each other, that we inspire each other. So, but today I'm just sitting here before I go to uh, the Bible study. I've got two Bible studies. We actually did a canvas about, uh, three weeks ago and, uh, we had a, a great, awesome, uh, his name was, uh, uh, Rick, uh, I forget his last name, but uh, he, had, he had an incredible testimony, and uh, he came uh, to our church, and he's like, we're ca we're going to go canvassing, and we're going to go knocking on people's doors, and we we had a survey asking people about what do they think is going on right now, uh, what do you think is the cause of all this, and what do you think about the lack of spirituality in kids, and what do you think about um, the Bible and Revelation, and the response within one hour we got twenty five studies, Bible studies, 25 in one hour. I tell you what, my friends, the harvest is ripe. 
there's not enough workers. And we, uh, me and JB, my, my dorm partner here, uh, we actually have two ladies that we go see every, every week and we're doing a, it is written study. And it's just, it's, it's really, they, they have 101 questions. Uh, one lady is a, 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 a short interruption. Um, uh, another incredible story, another incredible story. And there's so many incredible stories here, how people got here. Um, when, uh, the the guests the first day that I was here the first week that I was here we had guests coming in and the first lady that came off of the out of the van who became my um I became her therapist oh I mean I just I just fell in love with her and we had so many things in common and it's not it wasn't a coincidence that we had all these things in common and we had the same struggles we had the same temptations uh we had the same fa family member issues I mean it was I'm like, God, is this really happening? Uh, and then just uh, wit what I've witnessed, like in the fever baths and in the and doing the therapies and just amongst our team, you know, we, we pray together uh, for our guests and, and to see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, to see people be reconnected with the God, to see people be healed. Yeah. So I've got a, a whole bunch of things that I need to, <laughs> to catch up with. But I really wanted to just grab the camera real quick and say happy Sabbath. It is a beautiful Saturday here in Colorado. Uh, this is where I have settled now. Been here for a little over the month. I'm in the dorm. I've been offered a full-time position. I am working full-time as a therapist. We put in long, long hours. You'll see I, I've been taping things and um, long hours, uh, 10, 11 hours. Um, we, the only day that we really get off is Saturday, which is our Sabbath, and then I do Bible study. So it's exhausting. It's very exhausting. Um, I finally started getting some fever baths myself this myself this week, because uh, I know people have been asking about the cancer. I, and that's one thing that I'll, I'll address real quickly. Uh, a lot of people are wondering, how's the cancer? You know, they, they think I'm healed. They think I'm in remission. Uh, multiple myeloma doesn't go away. It's incurable. So no, I'm not in remission. Um, God's got the cancer. Uh, and it's really weird because I rarely talk about the cancer. I just, I, I do what I need to do, which is take care of myself. I, I follow God's healing plan. I trust him with all my heart. I'm more concerned about um, my walk of salvation and planting seeds and, and serving. That's what I'm, I'm more, more concerned about that because we're running out of time than this cancer. So the cancer is like, but no, I'm not in remission. I am, I still do my supplements. I still, I'm not now doing some fever baths. Being here is very taxing. I've had some problems just getting good rest. So there's, there is a, that concern. You'll see from the videos, the, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. Us therapists are, are worked really hard, but the rewards, um, I keep saying to myself, Lord, um, just thank you for bringing me out here and help me not mumble and grumble about the long hours because I, we're serving, we're serving in a beautiful way. And, uh, and he always seems to give us the, at least for me, he gives me a break just when I need it. He brings me something just when I need it. I mean, it's amazing, but, uh, the multiple myeloma, uh, it is uh, the last time I got tested was six months ago. Uh, they said that the numbers, uh, were stable. Uh, they, uh, you know, they have percentages, <laughs> you know, M guess and smoldering. I have the M guess and the, the, the percentage of, of when that increases until you get full blown myeloma. And then and apparently you just die or you have to do chemo or whatever. Yeah. I don't even pay attention to any of that stuff because the Lord has it. So, um, and as long as I do my part, right? And you know what? This this cancer has glorified God in so many ways. I wouldn't change it for a world. Uh, for, in the, I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change it because he is being glorified. And every day that I'm here and I'm healthy and in spite of the cancer, that's, that's a testimony to God and his character and what he's done in my life because he's transformed me. Wow, is he transformed? And I'm really grateful. So um, let me just uh, give you one last view here. Yes, this is the girls' dorm. I'm going to have a follow-up video. I don't know when, 
um, of when we moved in and when I arrived of trying to find those videos. And uh, um, my sister actually helped me fix up my room. Um, we had some really great times shopping. We went to Goodwill and, and the Lord just, you know what? He brought things like, he just brought things. So I have a very comfortable room and I got great um, dorm mates and um, no men are, are, no men. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that. But um, anyway, I'm going to get this uploaded as soon as I can. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for uh, your encouragement, for always being there. And, you know, I love this channel because every time I read a comment, you know, people come on here and they, they ask for prayers. Uh, we've been able to lift up many people with prayers. I've been able to reach out to people and help them. And, you know, and the support that I get, it's a, it's, it's a real family that we have. And you know what? During this time, what's happening with COVID, the social distancing, all the, th the things that are going on with, with the government, this is spiritual. We are ushering in. I mean, we're we're ushering in the second the second Christ is coming back, and um, we're not seeing this by mistake, my friends. This is this is all part of uh, what needs to be happening, and that's why we're running out of time, and we need to come together and not separate. We got to remember who our enemy is, and it's Satan. It's not each other. It's not each other. So, um, and I'm just, I, I, I it, it's frustrating to see what COVID is doing to people. It's so frustrating. And people just aren't getting it. Um, and I don't talk a lot, again, on YouTube about it because it just becomes a, a war zone. And I'm like, are people so easily falling prey to the separation of, of, of each other? They're turning against each other because of the mask, non-mask, covid it, is it real? Is it not real? Is it? I mean, it's real, and people are dying just like they die of the flu and heart disease and cancer. I mean, it's real. It's 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 there, people. But um, Satan's using it, and it really is. It's changing people. Sometimes for the good, sometimes not for the good. Just remember who the enemy is, and it's not each other. All right. Um, so that's the latest update and please be patient with my videos and keep coming back.